we were able to obtain guest passes from NASA about two months before the launch. So we'll be able to have a very close look at things at only two miles from Launch Complex 39. Okay, here we are. We're about uh, oh, roughly two hours before launch time here right in front of the vehicle assembly building on Cape Kennedy. The rocket is straight ahead. Um, this morning, about uh, 8 o'clock uh, Eastern time, President Ford made a quick uh, announcement, which we're going to be showing now before the launch, and uh, I think it'll give you a good idea. It just kind of gives his ideas of what's uh, happening with the space program at this time. So here we go to Washington with President Ford. Launch of the Soviet Union Soyuz spacecraft, which we are about to witness, and I hope my remarks conclude before it, marks the beginning of a very epic venture into space. Okay, here we are on uh, Kennedy Space Center. We're right here in the lot. Behind us, we see the vehicle assembly building and also where the button will be pushed for the rocket to be united and on its way. Here we are. We're now about, oh, 30 minutes or less before the launch at uh, Cape Canaveral. The rocket is behind me. And uh, as you know, the, the Russian launch this morning went perfectly. Everything was fine. The rocket did take off rather quickly. But uh, now we're all set here at the Cape to view our Saturn 1B rocket take off. Gorgeous weather, so I'm sure we're going to have a launch on time at 10 of 4. While photographers make their final adjustment to their equipment, so do astronauts Thomas Stafford, Vance Brand, and Donald Slate, ready to join orbiting cosmonauts Alexei Leonov and Valery Kubasov. Ladies and gentlemen, the launch of Apollo 1B at precisely 3.50 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Start. Zero. One, zero, launch commit. We have a liftoff. All engines building up thrust. Moving out. Clear the tower. Uh, roger, tower clear. Five meters distance. Three meters. Three meters. Okay, One meter. Contact. Capture. We also have capture. Docking completed. Docking is completed, Houston. Roger. Well done, Tom. It was a good show. They are looking for us now. Two seconds here with you on in both the youth. Just to say, the launch of the Apollo rocket was a complete success. So was the landing of the Russian craft the following Tuesday morning and the American craft the following Thursday. So where does that leave us now in the period of 1975? Exactly five more years to the next launch, the launch of the space shuttle. And unlike the sleek Saturn rockets, which will be flying around the Earth, the space shuttle will be a very stubby affair. Sometime in 1979, the capsule will be launched from the Cape Kennedy base. NASA officials insist that the space shuttle is the next logical step in the United States space program. The emphasis of the shuttle, like the Apollo Soyuz, will foster international cooperation in space. Other nations will be allowed to prepare, at their own expense, experimental packages to be shot into orbit. The shuttle, too, will offer its own series of firsts. The first American women will fly into space aboard a shuttle. Non-professional astronauts will also be allowed to travel. And finally, private companies may even want to charter their own flights at roughly $10 million per flight.
So until 1980, this is Carrie Decker.